Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeerGeekNation.com. Today, we are looking at the latest Stone Imperial Russian Stout, 10.8% alcohol by volume, aka IRS. It comes out around this time. It's always around tax time, fitting. Um, this is one of the beers that got me into the style Imperial Stouts. One of the first Imperial Stouts to really come out of the craft beer scene in the West Coast, and it's still going today. It's still a really strong example of the style. Um, I picked this one up at CraftCity.com, so if you guys don't get Stone or you want to order it online, you can go there, pick it up, have it shipped directly to you. So with that said, let's get this classic in a glass so you guys know it smells, tastes. Give you the final verdict in the Stone IRS. All right, guys, the aroma. Big dark chocolate, coffee, roasted notes. Classic, classic Imperial Stout. All right, guys, the taste. Cheers. Wow. This is a very fresh bottle. It's only like maybe a week and a half, two weeks old. Um, I get massive coffee in this one. There's no coffee in the beer, but you just get a massive coffee bitterness right at the front of the tongue, like chocolate covered espresso beans in the middle of the mouth. Nice kind of milk chocolate sweetness in there. Subtle, very subtle roastiness. It's not a roasty Imperial Stout, which I actually prefer. Um, there's almost like a, like a milk stout kind of sweetness to it. It's got a lot of body to it. Nice velvety body, a little bit of sweetness. Again, that dark chocolate kind of, kind of like blooming in there as it kind of sits on your tongue a little bit on, on, as your palate kind of gets used to it. Pretty dry finish. This one's always strikes me. It's a little weird. It has a pretty dry finish in the aftertaste. More kind of coffee bitterness, espresso bean, roastiness, very subtle roastiness, more of that dark chocolate, like a really high quality dark chocolate flavor in there. Um, it just works. It's just a great example of the style. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Stone IRS Imperial Russian style, if you will, 10.8% available at craftcity.com. Guys, I got to give this one an A. Like I said in the tasting, this is essentially the perfect example of what, to me, what a Russian Imperial Stout should be. You get coffee, chocolate, maybe a little bit of black licorice, subtle roastiness, um, the 10.8%, 10 it's warming but it's not aggressive, adding a little bit of sweetness to it. It's just a very, very well-balanced beer and it kind of checks off all the notes that you want in an Imperial Russian Stout and it's just, they just nail it year after year and it just gets better and better. It ages really well, really phenomenally. Um, I've got a bunch of vintage of this and they just get better and better. So with that said, getting an A from me, definitely one if you've never had it. If you're new to craft beer, you're definitely gonna wanna check this out. It's just, it's easy to get. It's a affordable and it's an awesome awesome beer so with that said folks remember life's too short drink amazing beers cheers